from the moment that he started getting ink on the book, sneezing on the painting and getting ink on it, to where you know he finally destroys the face completely, was very, very much longer because we were throwing in every gag we could possibly imagine. <laughs> There was just a limit to how many jokes they were prepared to stomach. And once he'd pushed it out of the window and was on the ledge, 50 feet above the security meeting that was going on down below, they thought, oh no, not another, you know, thing with the painting. We'll be getting substantial support from the LAPD. They've assigned us 50 extra officers for the day. This is such a valuable painting, the fear is that a major criminal could at this very moment be planning to take it from us. Oh, we're talking weapons here, aren't we? Anyone tries anything, we pop the bastards. Absolutely, sir. Once we've gotten the general safely inside, our key figure security-wise becomes Dr. Bean. Glad to hear that. During his speech, everyone will be gathered together in one room. That's going to be a real challenge. We've got to protect the painting without getting in the good doctor's way. But just to clarify this exterior coverage, we're going to have uh, plainclothes officers stationed around uh, here, here, and here. And I believe we have a SWAT team in reserve on our right flank, a couple of clicks down the road. So, if anyone with bad intentions visits us tomorrow, they're going to have a very disappointing morning. Compared to our setup here, Whoa! Fort Knox is a candy store. Well, moving right along. Someone will eventually walk through that door. And the first thing they will say is, look, someone has totally destroyed Whistler's mother. Let's kill them! If you remember in the film, he comes out, he comes out and says, morning, everyone. Ah, you know, and well, actually, that, that scene is this part of this same sequence that we're talking about here, the breakfast sequence. And it was a sequence in which, for some reason, in performance, and my characterization of Bean, Bean became extraordinarily camp. <laughs> Bizarrely sort of uh, effeminate and sort of the effeminate chef. What time is it? Scrambled eggs, anyone? No, thank you. Oh. Kevin? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be getting to school? Yeah, I'm waiting. Uh, waiting for what? For you to take me. Uh, your mother normally takes you to school? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. The stay in all day is to be late. The day when I get to go to work and tell them Whistler's mother now looks like Pinocchio's father. Oh. We found that uh, the breakfast scene was was getting in the way narratively, and similarly, there's another scene with with Burt Reynolds. I think I think actually well, it was his his longest and finest hour. I think it was actually. I mean, it really yes. I mean, the moment when he went. I don't through. know that he knows that it's not in yet. Actually, to be quite honest, but I'm at oh, least we'd be glad it's on the video. I suppose. Yeah. Um, so uh, he's arrived at the gallery um, and there's, there's actually a scene where he's introduced to all the employees of the gallery and, of course, Bean. They love you, sir. And so they should. <laughs> 50 mil doesn't buy a little brown nothing. I'd like to know what it does. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, this is Bernice Schimmel in charge of PR. Walter Huntley, our merchandise guru. That jacket is a disaster. Thank you, sir. Did you notice how the handkerchief uh, acts? Thank you, Walter. And David, of course, you've already met. And our honored guest from England, Dr. B. 
How do you do, Doctor? Uh, I do very well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's a genius, right? Oh, very much so, yes, sir. And this is Elmer, in charge of our security arrangements. Nice set of medals there, Elmer. What'd you serve? Vietnam, Desert Storm? Couldn't tell you, sir. I was so drugged up with the killing, I didn't know where I was. That's the spirit, soldier. The trouble is, you're putting together a film that's going to be 90 minutes long, and you wanted to have real narrative drive. It's so important. Uh, and sometimes the extra gag, you know, like two gags where we've only used one, we did look at it long and hard and decided that, you know, that we felt we'd done the right thing. I think we did do the right thing, but it'll, I don't know, you'll always, you'll always wonder about it because there are some very funny things we didn't use. Look at that bum over there, man. 